Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 8th through the 15th. Today I am using the Steampunk Tarot deck. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everybody. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. With that, let's begin. It looks like we have someone wanting to give some equal give and take, or somebody was giving to somebody else. You could have been giving their pinnacles to the wrong person. And uh, probably a lot of pinnacles with this 10 of pinnacles sitting next to this. So an equal give and take in a marriage is what it's looking like. Um, was there equal give and take in a marriage? No, I don't think there was because we have the the Ten of Swords, or I'm sorry, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is someone who's honest, but he's strategic. And uh, he also could be a, an attorney. And I see the Justice card here next to the Deception. So this looks to me like there's a divorce here, that this is something about the courts, you know, not giving equally in a marriage. There's no equal give and take. And there was a lot of money in a marriage. And he's got, they're in court now. And they're working on He's working on something. He's working on, on his pinnacles is what it looks like with the eight of pinnacles here. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Swords is air, and that is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And um, looks like there was some juggling. Looks like there was some juggling from the past with this two of pinnacles. He's working on it because he was juggling, and he was giving his pinnacle to somebody else. And this is the High Priestess. This is the first time I've seen her today. This is going within, not talking. These two people are not speaking to one another. Um, she's keeping her mouth shut. She's going within using her intellect. Uh, in this deck, she is a tarot card reader. Um, so it might be work, you might be dealing with somebody who works in these arts. Um, this is the High Priestess. The high priestess is water, and she represents the moon. And she's next to the will of fortune, which is fire. So this is faded. This is a faded thing. Um, she's gone within, and it's faded. That this is, and, and there's justice here. The justice card shows up. That's Libra, and it's next to the seven of swords, which is deception. So there, there could have been. This could be about a court. This could be about a divorce. Because someone was juggling and he was not giving his pinnacles to her. Because there's somebody's wearing a false mask here. There's no, there's his lying, cheating, and stealing with the Seven of Swords. And it could be a third party here, right here. Uh, the Three of Pentacles could represent a third party relationship. And they're next to the five, this third party. Let me, let me show you how this looks right here. Coming between these two. We have the Seven of Swords, Lying, Cheating, Deception. We have a third party here, and we have the Five of Swords, Winning at All Cost, Conflict. Somebody is uh, two people in the normal, the regular rider weight deck. There are uh, three swords on the ground, and he's got two, but two people have walked away. So this conflict, whatever it was, ended this relationship. This third party ended this relationship or cause this relationship to end. So there was a lot of conflict here. And now this person is looking at the past with the seven of pentacles. This is looking at the past, looking at the seeds that you've planted. And it, it comes right under the two of pentacles where he's been juggling. He's juggling because right next to it, we have the player. Here we go. Here's our player card with the knight of wands. He's somebody that comes in and out very quickly. He's getting, he's coming in to get the cookie. He, it's what he's doing. He's coming in and out. He's the one night stand. He's got his little phallic in his hand coming in and out. He was looking at the past because he was a player. He caused a lot of conflict because he had a third party, which was deceptive, which caused his divorce. And this is a sudden truth. He wants to come in and speak his truth to her. He wants to come in and speak his truth about this to her. 
as he knows he broke her heart. But here we have the Queen of Swords. She will cut your head off if you don't come at her correct. So this woman is no joke. She is not going to take anybody's BS, that's for sure. With the, this is air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So he wants to come and speak his truth to her because he's regretting. He's regretting this. It caused the divorce. What he did caused the divorce. He's regretting this. He's regretting the ending. Look at all the knives in her back. This is an ending. The Ten of Swords. There was an ending here, which caused the divorce. Because he had options. Yeah, this is no joke. You can't make this stuff up. He's regretting the ending. He had options. The Seven of Cups. He had a three, uh, the, the Three of Pentacles. Another third party. He's looking. He's laying here and he's thinking about this. This is four swords. There's a lot of thoughts going on in his head. He's looking at those three swords that are above his head. And he's got the one sword in his hand. The sword of truth that he wants to come in and talk to her about. Looks like he's wanting to make an apology to her with the Knight of Pentacles. He's got that pinnacle in his hand, hoping she'll she'll take him back or she'll accept his apology and, uh, and forgive him for what he's done. Um, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. This is Taurus Capricorn, or Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, um, wanting to apologize, being at a crossroads with the Two of Wands. He's waiting. He's thinking about it. He's trying to figure out which path he wants to take. He has to speak his truth. Because at the bottom of the deck, the moon card, that's secrets. There were some secrets here that need to come out. That's what that truth is about, the secrets. And being a player and having options. And, and the ending that he's regretting. And he's wanting, he's wanting his happiness and success. He's wanting happiness and success, but there are secrets here. So some, maybe some lights being shed on those secrets because he's wanting happiness and success in love. He wants a new beginning in love. Wanting a new beginning in love, but he's feeling stuck. Here's the hangman. This is water. He's feeling bound and stuck to something. He's wanting that love, and he's wanting that new beginning, and he's wanting success, but there are secrets. He's got to come clean with because she walked away. She's not looking back. That's behind everything behind her. She's looking for her two of cups. She walked away from this. And she spoke her truth. She was in her emotions when she did that. This is the, the it could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, the Queen of Cups. She, she stood in her emotions with this. She, Let's see what's underneath. No, she's gone within. She had her. She was very emotional about this, and she went within with the hermit. The hermit is an earth sign for Virgo. This is Virgo. She went within and shed some light on some things. She wanted to move this to calmer grounds. She wanted to move all this fighting to calmer grounds, but there was a tower, a tower moment. That ended all of this. The tower moment ended all of this. The sudden breakdown of the foundation in a relationship. I'm going to leave it there with you, Capricorn. If this resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment on how it, how it resonated with you. Until next time, have a great day. Thank you.